Welcome to episode 1400 of the Multifamily Collective. 1,400 episodes. Whoa, whoa. Getting old. Um, the thing I wanted to share this morning before we get this Friday kicked off and we head into a weekend is a love of a quote that I, I think I happened upon this, let's say it was in the late 1990s, early 2000s, plus minus. Um, and it's from Tom Peters. I actually don't know if it's from Tom Peters. Tom Peters does a wonderful job of curating quotes from other people and then authoring them into books. So it may not be his quote, it may be somebody else's quote. So if I misattribute, I apologize in advance, but a bias for action is the quote. Pithy, simple, a bias for action. And another quote that sort of dovetails with that is actually attributed to Tony Robbins. And it goes something along the lines of the only impossible journey is the one that we never start, I think is how it goes. Um, but leads to the idea that having a bias for action is a predicate for getting things done in your life, whether it be personal or professional in nature, it is that bias that you have in your head instead of freezing in a moment of opportunity or freezing in a moment of adversity, you rather default to action, just do something right. Hopefully, you exercise that idea that you want to pause sort of between catalyst and response, that little space between put some rationale to what the action is you are going to take. But the real driving message here, the real undercurrent is get it imbued in your mind that taking action is better than sitting still and not doing anything. Motion creates emotion. That emotion sort of gets this flywheel effect moving forward. And <clears throat> inevitably and ultimately, you can come up with a solution to whatever adversity you might be going through in your life. And or you can start to move toward a goal or a target or a task completion that you are after. So today, going into the weekend, a bias for action. Go out and do something amazing. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.